friends, I'm J-Max. Welcome back to my channel. This is J-Max Reacts. Tonight I'm watching um, the story of Eddie and Eddie. This is about Trap Tarot. Shout out to Trap Tarot who actually um, looked at my other video, said he liked it, and was like, yo, you need to check this one out. So let's see what happens in this story. Ready to talk, tough guy? Man, look. I don't got shit to say. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't got shit to say, huh? How about your ass doing the rest of your fucking life? The fucking murders? You got shit to say about that? The drugs? Yeah, yeah, boy. <laughs> when I talk to the DA, you wouldn't be the one charged with all this shit. The murders? The drugs. Say bye bye. You don't scare me. I don't need, I don't need to scare you. But I bet I did now. Nigga, what? Trust, right? Yeah. I'm gonna put this on the table right here. Trust. This right here. The murders and the drugs. You mastermind this, huh? You brains all this, ain't you? You the brain, you the smart one. I got dumb and dumb in there singing on your dumb ass, and you sitting here not telling me anything. I don't, know don't believe him. Yeah, you go to prison. You go to jail. I spoke with the DA, and we have a deal for you. You tell me everything. This goes away. It turns out to that. You cooperate with me. Give me something. You have to give me something. Make the deal. We walk away. Sign right here. Sure, I don't sign nothing. It's three bros. Oh, damn. Same vision, same goals, same dad, all different moms, but they all grew up on the same road. They all live by the same code. Since they a fam, miss we to fail. They getting money doing the family business, but the roads are different. What they all plan, so let's break them down. Double D, first born, he a smart nigga. The only child for a little while, so it kind of made him a soft nigga. He the type that want to talk with you. He the one to see the large picture. The most important one to the group, so it kind of made him a boss. Turn them niggas to a zombie. Eddie told Ed, no matter who it is, we gotta go and make the devil out of him. 
Tommy Pickles. That nigga Tommy Pickles love B. Ed and Tall, Ed, turn the car around. We gon' need a little more heat. It's three of us, them niggas roll B. We gon' need a little bold P. I know that y'all really like the bitch, but I think we really need to call Lee. It's a no. Fuck them bitches. I ain't calling on no Kanker sister. Ed, I agree with you. But I've been fucking on the Lee sister. And fuck me, shit, kill Pickles. Do you wanna run the block or not? Ed, Tall, Ed, if it was up to me, we would've been clear that whole block. <laughs> she said, I'm just chilling with my sister. He told her to step away from that, and she did that. He said, Look, you always said that you'll ride for me. I need you to do something for me, and I need you to do it privately. I need you to do a slide for me. I need you to kill this guy for me. You hear me alone? Seduce the nigga, and before you kill him, tell him bye for me. She said, Eddie, who this nigga is? Eddie told her, It's that nigga Tommy. She said, Pickles? He said, Yes. She said, You know that nigga got some problems, but he my ex, so I probably got him. Not the ex. That's too easy. Goodness sake. No way in here. Bitch, you must think I'm crazy. I know you being shady. My ears to the streets. I know you fuck with Eddie. I know you want this block. He know he ain't gonna get it. He don't fuck with you because this a dummy mission. What a gun, bitch. Tell me where you hit it. Where your phone at? Let's call this nigga Eddie. You gonna live a dollar. Let's make his decision, bitch. Damn. She about to die. Not you guys. Right. Eddie chilling back in his crib. He get a call, it's from Lee phone. He answered it and said the job done, but all he hears crying on the phone. Eddie said, baby, what's wrong? Say something, all I hear is crying. Tommy snatched the phone from Lee here and said, you lucky I ain't let you hear him die. Eddie shot, his heart dropped. Tommy said, yeah, you fucked up. You sent the bitch like I'm a pussy. Big 
problems. It's only one way for him to solve it. Thank God, Chucky showed up. Tommy need help to move the body. Chucky walked in and said shit. Tommy said yeah, she had to go. He told Chucky about the Eddie shit. Chucky said shit, fuck the bro. Eddie soft, he low key a bitch. I ain't gonna lie, Ed with the shit. Double D here, none factor. He probably scared to even fuck a bitch. They won't smoke with we'll Gavin said. Well, damn. Tommy said, well you better grab it. Susie walked in with Philly Lil. Then Tommy started telling all that happened. casualty to somebody else's recklessness. Ridiculous. Tommy dropped the phone and lose his mind. Chucky said, what? Tell me, why you crying? Phil said, damn, nigga, what's wrong? Tell me, balled up on the floor, crying, live what is back. Like you did, bro. Susie on the phone, away from them, though. She hung up the phone, walked to the crew, and said he crying because they killed his little bro. Deal dead, y'all. Thought that first Sheesh. thing through. Right. 
Man, tell me them play the shit. They gotta show the thing fucking round. They figured out the edit, try to play them. Had them looking goofy like a fucking clown. Tommy still heard about the shit. He got to put his brother in the ground. But he gonna put the shit to the side. Why he tell the cake is how it's going down. Meanwhile, Eddie doing shit. Getting money, chilling with his brothers. They had the crib where Eddie lived. Just living life, hanging with each other. Eddie told the story to his brothers. How he had a threesome and he wanted It's three y'all and like 17 little them bitches, so see how this works. <laughs> right. The Aaron brothers on the hunt now. The pound simple pull up and shoot. They all crazy, they don't give a fuck. So they all agree that's what they gonna do. Time and them on the same shit. They gonna keep it simple, just aim and shoot. Both getting ready, both with the shit. Mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, somebody about to die. Sheesh. It's the only way they're gonna make it out of that. Right. Hey, hey. Streets gonna get you. You done told everything. Oh, oh, and um, Thomas is she Oh, fuck. <gasps> oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's just the credits until you go down. It's all there it is. Oh, shit, like it's frozen. Really? Okay, so it froze. I think those are just credits, but um, yeah, I love the message. It ain't nothing in the streets for nobody but death and craziness. And the worst part about it is that a lot of really innocent people die as casualties to the foolishness. You know what I mean? I understand for some it's a way of life. It's just the way of life. Um, definitely grew up with one side of my family being very much reminiscent of this. That's why I'm always intrigued by these stories. Because, um, you know, when we were sitting on the floor watching Eddie and Eddie and the real grass, <laughs> that shit was going on outside the door. We finally came back. Okay. But, yeah, while we was, you know, watching cartoons, our parents was out there moving weight, dodging bullets and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's, it's, it's a war zone. But, y'all, you know, be careful. Just because you grew up in the hood, you don't have to be hood. Um, and, yeah, you know. Kids, you should aim to go further than what you see your parents do. That's all our parents typically want for us. And that's, you know, I can say I did it. <laughs> me and my dad talk about that all the time. He tell me how proud he uh, how proud he is of me because I've gone, you know, further. And I didn't, you know, succumb to what could have been my life. But at the same time, I didn't forget who I was or where I came from. And I think that's important. That's why I say it's okay to be from the hood and not be hood. You don't have to be, you know, that way all day, every day. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, shout out to Chapter Terrell. These stories are so good. Like, I really, really, really enjoy them. Y'all know I love stories, and, and just in general. That's why I like some of the parodies, because they tell a story. Um, 
But yes, yeah. <laughs> I think it's time for me to go to bed. It's like 11.30. Let me know what you thought about this below. Comment, like, subscribe. Until next time. Peace.